So I was talking to my uh, 100 students and they said that this was a little bit easier to see, um, especially for the YouTube videos. Are you guys into that? Or do, would you prefer me to do it the other, the long ways? You don't care. Either or it looks like this fits the screen better. Yeah, I think it will, especially on YouTube. I think it'll make it a little bit easier to see. Yeah. Okay, so, sorry, let me go back to my questions. Okay, so I have benzene. And I have 95 milliliters and I have the density is given as a seven six five grams per milliliter and I'm given the delta H of vaporization for benzene is do to do 30.8 kj is purple. Okie dokie. Can you guys see that okay? It's okay? Cool. All right, guys. So, um, in trying to figure out the amount of energy that it would take to vaporize this much of benzene, right, what's the first step that you guys would take? I would go from volume Grams. Exactly, right? So you have a volume of benzene and you have the density of benzene, right? So you need to use these two to get grams. So you have uh, 95 milliliters and for every one milliliter of benzene you have a 0.8765 grams of benzene, right? So this gets rid of milliliters. What would the next step be? Uh, find the molar mass. Mm -hmm. So we need to cancel grams and get it into moles, right? So we have six carbons and six hydrogens. You guys hook me up? You're gonna need my calculators. Yeah. Um, sorry, this is like unrelated, but I, I'm looking at the problem I did of this version on my quiz, and I must have re I must have thought that my density was in liters or uh, grams over liters. So uh, I converted. Oops. Yeah, I just realized. I got 78.114. So we've got 78.114 grams for every one mole of benzene. Right? And that'll cancel out our grams. And what's the last step? to the enthalpy of vaporization. Use the enthalpy of vaporization to get kilojoules by itself, right? Because that's what we're looking for. We're asked for an energy, so we know that the energy should always be in some flavor of uh, joules, right? So we want moles on bottom, and we know that there's 30.8 kilojoules for every one mole. So. What do we end up getting? I got 32.8. I think it would be 33 kilojoules. Yep, right? I agree with that. Anybody have any questions about how we did that one? Anything you didn't understand? Confusion?
Daisy, was that all right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys. So the next question is looking at a phase diagram. I'm going to turn this off. Oop. 